Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, Congressman Jason Crow from Colorado's 6th Congressional District. Uh, it's truly an honor and a privilege for me to be here uh, next to my uh, dear friend and the Congresswoman-elect from Colorado's 8th Congressional District, Idira Caraveo. Uh, I, you know, I have a special place in my heart uh, for people that take on tough races. Your races that people say can't be won uh, until you win them. Uh, it takes a special type of person, a special type of family uh, to take on a race like this, uh, especially in an environment like we face today uh, of extreme volatility, of partisanship, of tensions, of extremism. Uh, it's a moment like this where you see who people really are. The people who are willing to step up and put it all on the line and step into the fire in a moment like this, in a tough race, because their country demands it, because their community requires it, uh, because their family, their family depends on it. And it shows you the character of the person who's willing to step up and step into the fire in a moment like this. Yadira ran a race of integrity, of truth, of values, and she won on Colorado values. Uh, that's why I am so proud uh, to welcome her as the newest member of Colorado's congressional delegation and to serve with her in the next Congress. Uh, so please welcome Congresswoman-elect Yadira Caravale. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for coming out to the place I grew up, to the corner of Adams County that really made me uh, who I am. Uh, you know, this hill behind me is where my uh, siblings and I used to slide down making mud hills, and the house behind us um, is where I spent many, many hours studying to get through high school, through college, um, and through medical school. Um, and being able to do that because of the hard work of my parents. Seeing my dad get home every day, smelling of diesel and dust, um, and being tired uh, because of his work of a, as a construction worker. Um, being able to, to smell cakes cooking every weekend because my mom cooked wedding cakes on, on the weekend to make sure that we could all make ends meet. Uh, this state has given me so much, uh, and I have grown up truly loving Colorado and loving every corner of this district that I now get to represent. Um, this is, you know, such a meaningful honor um, that has been bestowed on me by every single voter in this district who poured their love of Colorado, their love of this district, and their hopes into that, those ink-filled bubbles on every single ballot sheet. Uh, you know, those are the hopes that I grew up with and the hopes that I saw in my patients in clinic every single day. Um, they are also the struggles that I saw in clinic every day when I was talking to patients about how much it cost to live in Colorado, whether they could make ends meet, how they were struggling to put their kids through school, and having to have conversations about whether they could afford health care um, and whether the prescriptions that I, could give, that I was giving them were something that would allow them to still eat that week. Uh, those are the hopes and the uh, struggles that led me to leave that clinic um, and to join the Colorado State Legislature, where I have been able to, um, to struggle along with my community to make sure that they have paid leave, paid sick days, that we lower the cost of health insurance and prescription drugs, that we make sure that kids have access to incredible schools like the ones that I had growing up. Uh, but the struggle continued, and so that's exactly why I ran for this 8th district, to make sure that I could represent those kids and those families that I saw in clinic every day. That work is going to continue um, as I represent every corner of this district from Commerce City um, up into Greeley, because what I'm going to take with me are the conversations that I had at every single one of those doors. You know, as a doctor, they train you to listen to um, make sure that you're taking in a patient's story so that then you can assess, diagnose, and treat. And that's really how I approached uh, this uh, campaign and how I'm going to approach being in Congress, making sure that I'm taking in every single person's story, whether it's Mario and Thornton, who stopped us in the middle of the street to talk to us about abortion, and as a Latino older man say it, is a, it was a woman's right to choose, to talk to us about how important it was to have somebody that would protect Medicare and Social Security. 
Um, so many conversations that happened across the district that I will take to heart um, and carry with me to Washington, D.C. so that I can continue to assess what the uh, citizens of the 8th District need to make sure that I can, as their doctor and now as their representative, make sure that I am uh, fighting for everything that has made Colorado the state that I grew up in um, and the state that every kid uh, that I saw in clinic uh, will be able to, to talk about with such pride um, when, they're, when they're my age. Uh, so thank you all so much. I want to thank most of all um, my staff um, for helping me in this really difficult district that everybody said we could not win. I want to thank every single volunteer who knocked on doors, who made phone calls, who had difficult conversations with voters about why Colorado and this district in particular was so important to the national landscape. Um, and especially every single voter. Whether you voted for me or not, I am here to represent you, to listen to what you need, um, to make sure that we are making a Colorado and a United States that will give you your, dream, your ability to live your dreams just like it gave me the ability to live mine. So thank you so much. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. yet necessarily or maybe you have but how did that play out the latino uh, population in your success uh you're absolutely right, it's not monolithic. Latinos in Colorado are very different from Latinos across the country, um, and Latinos across the 8th District are different from one another. But what I can tell you that um, I saw in this campaign was how unified they were behind having a voice, uh, be behind um, the ability to share a story, uh, a language with somebody who, um, who really would understand them, who came up in their community, um, and who could represent them in Congress. I had so many people pull me aside, um, give me hugs, give me kisses on the cheeks, and say, it's so great to finally see somebody like us, not just running for Congress, but possibly representing us. So I, um, you know, we haven't crunched the numbers, but I can tell you from my experience of the doors that I know that the Latino population here was key um, in, um, in getting me elected, um, in being the first Latina Congresswoman uh, from Colorado, um, and I am so honored um, to have their backing um, and to be able to be that voice for them in Congress. You know, I think it's exactly what um, Colorado voters place their hopes in, that we would have a system that would be independent of politics, that they could place uh, their hopes in um, and make sure that a district was drawn um, in a way that really represented them um, and not the interest of people at the Capitol. Um, I think that uh, with the fact that this was designed to be competitive and it drew so much um, attention, um, it was really, a, a, you know, a credit uh, to the system that created it um, and really uh, was able to bring people together and make sure that that they knew that their participation in the democratic process was really meaningful. You talked about that, you know, people said Democrats could have won, even though it's an open seat and it's competitive. Did you feel going into this that you were more of an underdog? I did at times, you know, but I've been an underdog my entire life. You know, um, I remember people telling me, You're, you, you can't go to medical school. People like you don't become doctors. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've been an underdog my entire life, and so this was just uh, another uh, challenge to, to rise up to through hard work. That's what I learned through my family and my community, and so I knew that if we poured ourselves um, into this race that we could beat the prognosticators across the country. Yes, thank you. Um, you know, as a doctor, healthcare is always going to be a top priority. I have spent my entire life from the moment that I was three um, thinking of how I was going to help people through medicine. Um, and a lot of what drove me into politics, a, a field that I never thought that I would get into, was all of the obstacles that I saw taking care of kids every single day, where um, the medical training that I had was not enough to, to beat the system that we had. Um, and so a lot of my effort is going to go into that system to make sure that it's not about insurance 
companies are drug companies. It's about patients and doctors, the people that medicine should really be centered around, and lowering costs. I'm also going to make sure um, that we're talking about climate change issues, especially in this district, uh, where we have so many different opinions on both sides, right? Um, where we have a very important oil and gas industri industry that gives uh, uh, people like the families in my clinic great jobs, but where we, I also see kids struggling to breathe every single day and I have to send them to the hospital to put them on oxygen. Um, and so I'm going to focus on making sure that we have a healthy community, a healthy environment for those kids to w grow up in. So knowing that it's likely going to be a slim Republican majority in the House, a lot of the things that you prioritize in your campaign may be difficult to pass. What can you do realistically now before you have to run for your you know, it's just being a voice. Um, there's far too many, uh, far too few doctors um, in uh, in legislatures. Um, I've experienced that here in Colorado as being the only doctor in the assembly. Um, and I will join with um, with the other doctors who are there to really serve the interests of patients, to make sure that um, people are listening to our expertise, to the, um, our advocacy for our patients, even when we're outside of clinic, um, and making sure that that voice, at the very least, is there um, and can't be ignored. of the 8th District with Wells and Menorah's and Adams and Stuff. You did better in Adams, but your barber did better in Wells. How, do you, how are you hoping to bridge that population up north that, that appears to have you know, backed your opponent more? How do you kind of reach across that divide to, to, to bring folks as far as up as Greeley to the folks down here in, in uh, as far south as Harmony? You know, I think that part of that was that she was a known entity in Weld County, having been there for 30 years as a, as a career politician. Um, and I was just uh, less well known there. I can tell you that uh, the way that I approach uh, legislating um, is going to be to be bipartisan, to listen to both sides, just like I have um, at the state capitol, where two thirds of my legislation um, has had uh, votes from Republicans uh, and Democrats. Um, and so I'm really hoping to establish uh, connections with everybody um, in Weld, um, in Adams, and in Larimer to tell them that I am here to really listen to them, to take in their input, um, and to represent the 8th District um, as best as I can, uh, whether people backed me uh, at the start or not. Yes, uh, Senator Kirkmeyer called me last night to conceive the race. Um, she said it was a, a hard fought race, which I um, uh, agree with, um, and she wished me success. That's huge. I don't know that it's uh, really sunk in yet. I know I decided to run for this district before I even knew that that was a statistic that, that I was going up against. Um, you know, I've been the only Latina sometimes in, in, in all sorts of different um, environments. Um, I was a handful of, uh, one of a handful of Latino students in medical school. Um, and as a doctor, I'm one of the few who is Latina um, and can speak Spanish. And because of that, I've drawn patients from all over uh, the metro area. So this is just a, another, um, another area uh, to, to be the first in, um, but it means a lot. Uh, the fact that the Latino community carried me to this, to, that they are so proud um, of, uh, of my ability to, to do this, um, and that I know that their votes carried me uh, to the seat, uh, means a lot. Me siento tan orgullosa de ser la primera congresista latina del estado de Colorado. Uh, es un orgullo este, ser parte de esta comunidad, uh, de saber que los votos latinos y el apoyo latino fue lo que decidió esta carrera. Um, que el hecho que yo soy la congresista de este nuevo distrito es por, por el apoyo latino y va a ser para la comunidad latina. Uh, ser su voz y para que ellos sepan que tienen una persona que está abogando para ellos en Washington. Mis prioridades van a seguir las mismas que han sido aquí en la legislatura y lo, lo que he hecho como doctora. Asegurarme de que todas las familias tienen las oportunidades que yo tuve creciendo aquí en Colorado. Que en una familia trabajadora, uh, los este, niños pueden venir de una familia de inmigrantes y llegar a ser doctor, doctores, abogados o congresistas en una generación. De asegurarme de que es 
una vida este, que, que está al alcance de las familias trabajadoras aquí en Colorado, que estamos bajando precios, que estamos haciendo todo lo posible para que los niños que va, crezcan como crecí yo aquí en Adams County puedan vivir el sueño americano. You know, I think that there was a very clear contrast between myself and my opponent, and that really needed to, um, to be made clear. Coloradans do not enjoy extremism. Um, and when you are uh, running against a person who um, wants to ban uh, abortion at a national level um, and maybe starts to change their opinion um, when they're running for, for a big office, who wants to take away Medicare and Social Security and Medicaid, a program that so many of the kids that I've take care of in clinic every day need to have access to, a, um, to medical care, um, who wants to take away so many of the things that makes Colorado great and that makes this country the country that my parents came to, um, I think that that contrast needed to be made. Super. We'll cut it off there. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, and if you're interested in a poll inside, please approach me and we'll do it uh, right after. Thank you so much.